how did you find me? It was very the Swedish hard. guy. It was well, it was very very hard because I saw the Russian as this monster, very thick wall of power, and then you happened to come onto the radar. Yeah, I sent some pictures through my acting coach, and I guess that's how you saw them. I heard. I, I did, and I said. Everyone's gonna hate this guy because he's like flawless. Everyone's six foot six and no flaws, no weaknesses. Whatever he hits, he destroys. I said, this is interesting because Rocky is just the opposite. He's really flawed. He's a throwback and you're a throw forward. And we both could fight yeah. and we both had styles that were perfectly contrasted. That's why I think the magic happened. But this one here is equal or maybe better. You. The first time we met, That's I was right. kind of starstruck, and, and you were right. very nice to me. You took me in your office, and you said you got to put on 10 pounds of muscle. And is that right? A monologue. So yeah. Your memory is better than mine. He has a very good brain. And <laughs> contrary to what people think of Drago, he's like a scholar. Three, three right. punches. Uh, and then remember that screen test I did? You flew me back in. Yeah. In the, the re hotel restaurant for breakfast, I suddenly ran into another six foot five guy, blonde guy in the elevators. And then there was another one down no, there. No, come on. There was three of us. But, really? Yeah. And I wonder who were the other guys. I think they were just guys. They were a little more like wrestlers, I think. I only remember you. As soon as you were there, it was done. You trained very, very, very hard. And for months and months, no one does it like that. But these two guys were pretty good, too. Your natural style just won't work with a guy that big. You're saying yours was better? I won, didn't I? <laughs> This is a real battle of will. It's just very feral and savage. You took some great shots to the way Good you would stuff. launch yourself through the air. I'll tell you, I, I don't know how we did it. You just take those kinds of falls and you have to with reckless abandon, but your timing was perfect. You know, I was a karate champion at the time, you know, and I was almost 10 years younger than you. When you're keeping up with me and I was tired and I thought, oh really? Oh, no, I was kind of impressed. Never I remember that. On. I, wish you'd tell <laughs> me. I remember that because I, <laughs> You know, I was used to fighting, you know, real, real fights, you know. No, but I don't, I'm serious. I look at this stuff, this kind of physicality. Oh, it's so amazing. What happened a long time ago? You don't want to really bring all that stuff up again, do you, kid? What's special about Creed II, and how'd you come up with that story, and how is that gonna add to this franchise? I thought, you just didn't lose the fight, you lost the country, you lose your wife, and I don't think you ever get over a loss like that, and you're about to embark on a rebirth through your son. So you've raised this kid in a culture of hatred. Rocky also, I mean, it's a father's and son story. It's really all three different elements. Adonis has his, awakening I do and then you do. No, it's a beautiful story and I think people will appreciate it on a deep level. I think so. And would you tell everyone, <laughs> really, we really don't look this old. I mean, he came off, he looked like a ski instructor and look what they did to him.